What is crackin' lacking, everybody? Welcome back to the eighth episode of my Sixth of Survival Season 2. And today we're doing something pretty simple. Now, uh, I need more emeralds. And way more XP. So we're building a melon and pumpkin farm. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do... Bam. And we're gonna go out nine this way. And nine that way. And just with the rails, it'd be pretty simple. I'll put two hoppers here. Because uh, with only a 9x9 grid, I don't think I'll need a stopper system for this. Uh, the plan is to actually have two. One on top and then one on top of there. One for melons and one for pumpkins. And then we'll see how this goes. Okay, everyone, the rails are put in place. I put a powered rail on every single one of the rows. But on these two, you gotta put them at the end. Because if you don't, uh, the rail just, the minecart will just stop right here. And then, uh, what are you gonna do? And uh, now I'm just gonna place in the dirt. Because this is where um, the melons of pumpkins will actually go. I think this layer right here is gonna be pumpkins. So just go along and do this. Oh. I'm out of dirt, but I will do that. Okay, I will do that and then be right back. I'll actually probably just do it. Do lay all the pumpkins and stuff and then show you how I do the pistons and everything. Okay guys, it's now time to place these in. Now this is actually something that's pretty hard to do. What you want to do is face it... Actually, you want to face it to where the, the face is looking at this. So, see right there I did it wrong. You gotta, you gotta place it like that. Which is kind of annoying, but... And then these, these are pretty hard to place too. But if you do it just like that, and it's really more just like a grid pattern, you know, a chess, ch ch chessboard kind of pattern. But they're just so annoying to place. I always get this a little off and it's hard. See? You have to place it in just such a way that it's uh, kind of annoying. If you do that, that's easy. It's these ones that are annoying. You gotta get it right there. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting pretty annoyed right now. What? I, you saw me place that one just like this. I don't understand. There, okay. You gotta get it like exactly in the middle where it doesn't work. But these ones are easy, you just, just like that. It's these ones that are. Way more annoying. See, because you gotta place it like so perfect. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, what What do you do? Okay. And then these ones. Got it. Okay. I'm gonna do this all the way around so you don't have to see me get a little annoyed by it and then uh, we'll make a second layer. Now there is one more final thing you have to do to complete a farm like this. And that's place redstone on every single one of the pistons. Because when these fire it'll fire all of them around it. Which works quite well. Just do oh, that. And the farm's actually complete. You need some walls just so it doesn't get any loss. But the actual pumpkin farm itself should be done. Now these grew before I placed the redstone. So they have small issues. Actually, wait a second. I'm pretty sure that should have made the redstone fire. That's weird. Wait a second. Did I do it wrong? I did something wrong, I know that. 
Because the redstone definitely should have fired. Oh, I think you are actually supposed to place redstone on all the observers. I'm sorry, I think I've done. Don't listen to a thing I say. Because <laughs> then it'll connect to all those around it. Okay, we're going to test this. Just to make sure. Come on. Just break the seed. Yes, okay. I am so sorry, Mr. I am not looking at a tutorial for this. I'm just trying to go off memory. Because I have made one of these, a pretty big one, in my last survival world, actually. And it was pretty sick. But uh, I looked up a tutorial for that. I, I did. I'm not a great redstone guy. I get a lot of concepts and stuff, but uh, I'm, not, I'm not exactly a genius. But, uh, yes. Yeah. So now the farm is done. Once all of the observers have redstone on them. Just to make sure you guys remember that. And, uh, now I'm going to build another layer. Now learn something dumb. I don't have any, legit, any melon seeds. Now, you don't exactly need to clean those up, but, uh, they suggested. Now, obviously I actually need a minecart rail going through there, which I probably could just make right now for you guys. Ooh, I need a hopper. I don't have any wood. Never mind. We'll make that. <laughs> we'll make that after. But, um, so I'm actually, uh, build the pumpkin farm one up instead of doing melon sink. Like, I think six of my seven guys trade only pumpkins, so I don't think it'll be that much of a problem to just have a bigger pumpkin farm. So we're going to build that one up, and then uh, it'll be done. Okay, y'all, the farms are done and working at full power. Now, I got a line of hoppers here that go into just a chest I've made down here. And this is collecting all the material. Now, I've gotten a stack of pumpkins from just half the farm working. Because I kind of just finished the other half. And uh, it's it's going quick. It's doing really good. And I'm so happy. Because uh, if you didn't know, they're more expensive than emeralds. Because this, I bet, will be faster than this. My time is done. I just cleared that out, by the way. You're like, is it broken now? But, and it's already got this. And there, it's 22 for carrots and 6 for pumpkins. So I think we'll be doing pretty good on emeralds. With the pumpkin farm and the carrot farm going. I think we'll be kind of rolling in them, to be honest. I just got to cover this in glass. Because right now, it's not technically a lossless farm. So cover this in glass, and then we'll go from there. Bam, glass is placed. Some spots don't have it just because there's a rails or something there. Other than that, the entire farm is um, safe from loss. Uh, there should be no loss in it, which is just great because I legit was picking up, like I traded with the villagers, but I was picking up like 17 pumpkins just from loss. So uh, it is very good, very good. Now it's time to get the daily chores done. Dun 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 uh, that's, that's probably copyright. <laughs> this is the hay pile. It's getting quite big. There's probably like, I don't know, 10 stacks of hay bales in there. But, uh, diamonds. The important part? Let's do it. Okay guys, I actually had quite a sad diamond run today. I kept going and just, I was not having luck. I don't think I got an hour in, but I definitely got quite a bit of time. I just kept going until I had enough diamonds to actually add to the pile, man. It was taking forever, but that's the end of the episode. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and hopefully I will see you in the next episode.